I'm here in the Tuane region and Jacob, the Executive Director for Tourism here, is with us. Jacob, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Great. Tell me a little bit about the area and what you have to offer in the Tuane region for conferences and events. Yeah, currently, Tuane has a diverse or some, a number of uh, conference uh, venues that we can offer to different types of uh, events that one can bring in the city here. Currently, we are sitting here at the CSIR, which is the biggest currently in our city that can host uh, 700 conference delegates now. But others do have uh, conference venues that can house between 10 and 350. There's eight of the those city. throughout yeah. the region. Most of, most of our accommodation uh, facilities do have conference facilities, hence mentioning a point that they vary in size. Mm -hmm and they can accommodate different kinds of uh, conferences that one can bring into the city. So those eight venues, are they within small driving distances or...? They are in a close, close proximity, but after the local government elections, Tswane will be incorporating areas of Mitswedding, which will also uh, provide us with an opportunity of getting more uh, venues in, in that side. And what type of accommodation options are there? around, for example, the CSA IOR, if that's your biggest conference centre here, what type of hotels and accommodation are locally within the area yeah, to you, cater? You do get a, a, a five-star hotel that can accommodate to see delegates. You do get self-catering uh, amenities. You do get B&Bs, guest houses, lodges. And all within a short distance from this conference centre? We do have a number of uh, guest houses around okay. uh, CSAR. Great. Jacob, tell us a little bit more about this area. What is there to see and do for a conference delegate that's coming in to do something here? Tswane, so, uh, together with uh, uh, Blue IQ, there will be a, a big five game reserve that will be opened in the northern side of, of, of Tswane. That will also give that opportunity for delegates to do game driving. But currently, we do have some uh, nature reserves, like your Hrunklof Nature Reserve, where they can do a game drive, where they can also do their uh, braai or do their fishing there, you see, as part of their, you know, activities extra times and, and activities that they can uh, do when they are around here. Great. We also encourage, you see, uh, township uh, tours. tours for them to start to understand, you know, the culture when they are, when they are here. You see, by some of the curios that they can get there as memorabilia. Yeah. You see, when going which back is home. great for overseas clients it's very, because it's they very great. gives them a better understanding of the culture of the South, Afri of South Africa and that remembrance that they can, you know, Bring do back. have when time goes by. You see, right. to say that I was in South Africa in this particular township, I bought this then, and it's supporting can, the local community as well. That will also really, you see, encourage others to come into Tswane. And you mentioned the traditional South African braai, which is a barbecue. Yep. yep. Great. Are there a lot of those opportunities for outdoor dining or for off-site dining for the clients in the evening time around this area? It, there's, there's plenty. I can mention several townships. You see, they can go to Atrejville, they can go to Mamilodi, they can go to Soshanguve, they can go to Temba Amaskral. To experience actually, the traditional Yeah, braai. actually in most uh, townships, you will definitely find one of that kind so that they can also start to interact with the communities. On the topic of corporate social responsibility, yep. is that something that uh, the Shwane region focuses on? Do you find that delegates are asking you to come up with new and novel ideas that, for example, the CSI or can offer to delegates when they're coming in terms of greening or maybe employing people in the local community for events that are coming in? The critical aspects that the city is emphasizing is that whatever uh, big functions that are coming within the city, uh, local communities should benefit. They could benefit through that uh, temporary employment or be given an opportunity to come and sell their curios or, or sometimes be given an opportunity to, to, to come and sell their services like tour guiding, like advertising some of the things that they are doing in, in terms of the arts and crafts that they are selling outside. Those are some of the key things that we are emphasizing as the city that uh, when they invite or get such conferences, communities should definitely benefit out of that. And it, it do happens. 
Well, thank you for talking to us, Jacob. Really appreciate it. Remember when every journey was an adventure? The world was a playground and you made the rules. A world full of treasures and magical moments. Where everything was new and nothing was impossible. Remember when flying was easy? South African Airways brings the world to Africa and takes Africa to the world.